So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. Hey, Bert, found anything? I don't know. Henry, there's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht, too. It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. I want bunny back. Henry. <laughs> You have got to find Bunny or else... I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules! Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! This is a disgrace! If any of you know anything about the identity of these hooligans, please come forward! I bet they were boys! Miss? Henry, no! Miss, we mustn't give in to these hooligans. Henry? Uh, no, quite. We should bury another capsule to show that we won't be beaten. Excellent idea, Henry. Uh, come on, children. What's your game? Henry... Have a gold star. Oh, thank you. Maybe the children of the future would like it. How unusually unselfish, Henry. Well done. Right, let's get this capsule buried. Yes, Al, you're good at digging. Shh. Uh, I mean, you probably are. Now we wait. It's so easy. How practical! Don't be worried, Henry! Behave yourself. Go and try these on. We should try another pair. <laughs> Would Madam like them wrapped? Uh, oh, uh... Yes, thank you. Peter! Henry! We're going! Hurry up, Henry! Henry? Attention, shoppers. If anyone has found a very horrid boy, would they please report to the information desk? Rototoots! Every day of the year! 
See, Mum? Told you they were cool. Really, Henry, it's too bad. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's ridiculous. I can't take my eyes off you for a minute without you getting into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble with parents is that they don't understand the important things in life. I really need those shoes. Mum just doesn't understand. Whoa! Oh! Attention shoppers. That very horrid boy is lost again. If you should find him, please report to the information desk. Wonder how this works? Come back later. Good idea. But we can't allow this to go on. The teachers must fight back. Enter. We've had enough. You are not fit to be head. You come here into my place of work and tell me this while I'm eating. Listen. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Twelve laps of the school field followed by a nice cold shower. Or... It's detention for you. Just how long is this detention? I don't know. Well, it's official, Henry. You are the most popular head ever. I'll second that. Enter. You wanted to see me. Aren't we missing something? Oh. You wanted to see me, Head Henry. Yes, I thought you'd like to make me and Ralph a cup of tea. Oh, and what makes you think that, Beetle Brain? Do you like being Henry's servant, Bert? I don't know. under threat from an evil force, my brother, Head Henry. Not content with destroying my own life, he is now intent on bringing this school to its knees. <gasps> Henry is abusing his position, so I say enough is enough. Off with the head! Are you with me, boys? Boys? It's okay. Plastic recycling bottles are. They seem to have disappeared. Sorry, Mum, gotta go! Well, actually. Ow! Peter's gotta go too! Now, you haven't forgotten that we're going out for our anniversary meal tonight, have you? Oh, this is heavy, Pizza. Whatever have you got in here? Oh, come on, Peter, we don't want to be late. Oh. 
Bye, boys. Smelling like a baboon's bed sock? Then help is at hand with Henry and Peter's perfect perfume. But what am I some perfume? Uh, I don't know. I thought you said you'd be careful. Well, I'm being careful. You know it makes sense. <laughs> Who in their right mind is going to buy perfume from you? Uh, hello, Miss Oddbod. <gasps> oh, no! Miss Oddbod! What are you doing, Henry? He's selling perfume, Miss. Here, in the playground. Oh, I see. And what is this perfume called, Henry? Perfect perfume, Miss. I'm... They're selling it to raise money for needy children. Would you like to buy some? Ooh, powerful yet understated. I'll take some. What? And as it's for charity, you keep the change. La I want a bottle. I want two. Coming right up. You smelt the rest. Now smell your best. One at a time now, girls. Here you go, Margaret. You could do with it. <laughs> I'd rather wrestle a tiger than give you money, Henry. Yeah. One, please. I said we'd be rich. <laughs> Quite the little entrepreneurs, aren't we? I'll have that. And in return, you shall both have detention after school. Oh, please. No, we can't be late. My mum and dad are going out for their anniversary dinner. Oh, dear. Double detention. Me, Henry, I need to brush my teeth. Henry? You're reading a book. Mm, it's a really interesting book. What's it about? Promise you won't tell. I promise. It's called The Werewolf Spotter's Guide to Spotting Weird Werewolves. Really? I borrowed it from Dad's bookshelf. It's a very scary book. Really? Yep. Tells you all about how to spot a weird werewolf. Ooh. Uh-oh. How long has your hair been like that? Like what, Henry? Like curly. It says here that curly hair is the first sign of turning into a weird werewolf. Does it? Have you uh, noticed any other signs? Um, what kind of signs? Let's see. Second sign of turning into a werewolf. Itchy hands. Third sign is sharp teeth. Have you brushed your teeth yet, boys? Time to brush your teeth, Peter. Yeah. If you dare. Oh. All set for bed, honey bunny. Mum, do I look any different to you? Different? No. You're still my perfect little honey bunny. So I don't seem any hairier? <laughs> Actually, your hair has got very curly. Maybe we should cut it soon. Night, night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bite. Bite? Enter. Henry, I need to talk to you. What about, Peter? I think I'm turning into a weird werewolf. Well, the book does say that there's a cure, but it's very rare. Uh, what is it? Fangle juice. Fangle juice? Yes, fangle juice from the rare fingle fangle tree. 
But where are we going to get fangle juice from at this time of night? Uh, it just so happens that I know where we can get some. But it's very expensive. Two pounds. Two pounds? Well, if you want to turn into a weird werewolf. I'll get my money box right away. pocket money for the next two years because he was being so horrid. Yes, we did, Peter. Thank you for reminding me, Sweetie Pop. Yeah, thanks for reminding her, Worm. Oh, I could get a job. You could pay me to do all the chores. Like putting my plate in the sink. <gasps> Thank you, Henry. Mum, didn't you and Dad say Henry has to do all the chores as punishment for his school report? Yes, we did, Peter. And you can start by finishing the dishes. Good idea, Mum. Silence, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry! Mum said I wanted a remote control plane. A plane? I had one when I was a boy. Let's see if I can remember how to make one. Really? Oh, yes. I used to make them all the time when I was a kid. Ta-da! Well, that worked. Oh, but thanks, Dad. For nothing. I have to come shopping with you. Should have brought Peter. He loves going shopping with you. And he also loves happy hippos. And it's his turn to watch them this afternoon. So stop moaning, Henry, and hurry up. Well, it's just not fair. Oh, look. I'm a lady has got a sail on. Stay here, Henry. I'll just pop in for a quick look. Won't be long. Look! How cool is that? Oh, and how expensive. Oh, I'll never be able to afford one of those. Not in a million years. Huh. Trust mischievous Mike to get his hands on one. Eureka! That's it! Mike, wait! Yeah? Oh, I need your plane. It's an emergency. What are you talking about? I need it to, uh, uh, to rescue a cat that's been stuck in a tree. Oh, all right then. Can I just borrow it? Just for a day? Half a day? An hour then? I'll swap it for anything you want. Hmm. You still got your Gross Class Zero comic collection? All of them? Including the Super Bumper Smilly Snotfield edition, when Sam Snotfield defeated the evil Emperor three times. Oh, yeah, definitely got that one. It's a deal, then. One hour only, but you'd better look after it. Oh, I will. Nothing's going to happen to it. Don't you worry. It's so easy being me. I'm <laughs> Looks like a big bogey. Don't be horrid, Henry. Whoa, I'm going to take it into school for my show and tell on Friday. What a lovely idea, Peter. Still looks like a big bogey. What's for tea, Mum? Stew and dumplings. <laughs> Stew and big bogeys, more like. <laughs> Henry! It was this big. <laughs> What's up? It's true, isn't it, Henry? It was this big, wasn't it? What was? The booger bogey you pulled out of your nose yesterday. What? Oh, oh yeah. It, it was really, really big. Don't believe you, Henry. It's true. And when I got home, I managed an even bigger one. It was the size of a dumpling. <laughs> really don't believe that, Henry. Well, that 
that's your problem. Yeah, it is your problem, cos Henry's still king of the Booga Bogies. Says who? Says me, that's who. And Henry, he says so too, don't you, Henry? Uh, yeah, I say so too. Settle down, everyone. If you are the king of the Booga Bogies... He is? Then prove it, Slime's not. I will. Sit down, Henry. No. <laughs> Nearly got it. Here it comes. Mind, Henry, there's still time. Oh, boys, uh, been flicking boogies, have you? <laughs> Afraid not, sir. Hey? Still looks like a big bogey. I can't wait to take my bogus and Beatalorius into school tomorrow. Miss Lovely will be so proud of me. And I'm so proud of you too, Peter. Why it's called a bogusum betalarius? It's called a bogusum betalarius because it's not really a beetle. No, it's a bogey. Mom, Henry keeps calling my bogusum betalarius a bogey. Henry, any more comments about bogies, and you'll go straight to your room. <laughs> Mom, I can smell something burning. <gasps> oh, your tea. What's wrong with bogies anyway? They're not nice, Henry. It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Don't know why Mum bothers. You can't lock up the kit. Two more days and we clean up. <laughs> Henry, what <gasps> do you think you're doing? Having a bedtime snack? Oh, Henry! I don't want you to die! Get off! Uh, don't die! Please don't die! Peter, uh, what's the matter? The, the, Gizmo is cursed, and Henry took it so I'd be saved, but now he's going to die! Henry, how could you be so horrid? Give Peter back his gizmo or there'll be no TV for a week. But I need it for my auction! Henry! I want a gold gizmo! Around here? Um, spaghetti, condensed milk, baked beans. Oh, Henry, I'm going to the supermarket. Do you want anything? You can't go! Not yet! Why not? Because uh, I want to go with you, but I can't go until. until. until I clean my room. You want to clean your room? <laughs> I can wait for that. Oh, 
boys this. Henry! It's so easy being me! I'm hard, Henry! Whoa! Henry? Henry! Whoa! Henry! Henry! <laughs> Go away, Worm! You're spoiling everything! But it's my turn! Mum said you've got to share! Mum said! Mum said! Help! Don't be worried, Henry! Stop that at once! Henry won't let me play with the box! Henry, I told you to share the box with Peter. And don't forget, Miss Lovely will be here soon to talk about the school play costumes. Miss Lovely? Oh, goody! Let's make the box into a little cottage just for her! Now, I'm just popping next door for a minute, so Henry, behave! Oh, we could um, cut out windows here, paint flowers and... No! Don't you touch my box! It's a time machine, you toad! It is not! It's made of cardboard and a new washing machine came in it! If it looked like a time machine, everyone would try and steal it! Don't you know anything? It's in disguise! No! It's top secret! Well, if it is a time machine, then I want to have a go! You can't! You're too young! I'm not! And I don't believe you anyway! Then watch this! I'll prove it's a time machine by travelling to the future! Stand back! You don't want to get scorched by the Vortex Blast! I don't believe you're going to the future. Whoa! The Vortex! Ah! Into the future! Henry? Have you really gone? Wow! It really is a time machine. <laughs> What if he is stuck in the future? What if he never comes back? I could watch whatever I want on TV! Whoa! <gasps> Where am I? Henry? Peter, I've been to the future. But you're old. Yes. I went to the 23rd century. I met my great-great-great-grandson. He still lives in this house and he looks just like me. So he's ugly? What did you say? Uh, uh nothing. Uh, uh, what's it like in the future, Henry? Horrible. Uh, I mean, horrible. It's so easy being me. I'm Hey, Henry. I bet you you lost Gummy Fuzzball, I win. Fuzzball? Fuzzball? Eureka! That's it! Sweets! Go on! Hey! Anybody want a sweet? Sweets! <laughs> Do it! Oi! Ow! Ow! One last gummy fuzzball! I'm coming your way! Go on! You know you want it! Yes! 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 Well done, Henry! You are the school's new 400 metres champion! She's going to be so disappointed in me. Here, Worm. Show her this. But this is your trophy. No, 
This is my trophy. That's the egg and spoon one. <gasps> you took it. The race was cancelled. Why would they need it? It's yours. <gasps> For two weeks pocket money. Uh, uh, deal. Peter, I knew you'd win again. <mwah> Henry? Oh, Henry. <mwah> well done, the pair of you. Like Peter said, it's not the winning that counts. It's how you play the game. The winner! It's so easy being me. I'm Hard Henry. Where has the worm put him? I'll do all my homework after I've cleaned my cello, Mum. <gasps> Look at all this mess! Mum! You did it! You stole Mr Kill! You've been waiting to get back at me. For what? Everything! Prize in the sandcastle competition if you haven't started blubbering. Mum! And that's not all. What a perfect day, not a cloud in the sky. The birds tweeting softly as their wings flutter. Mum! Not even a thank you for that flying lesson. Oh, and what about your birthday? Eek, eek. to you, you snivelling toad. So, where is Mr Kill? Mum! Silence, worm. Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'll have to use force. No! <laughs> no! Did anything but that! What have you done with Mr Kill? I haven't touched him on it! Choice. Mr. Kill? Please, I don't know. Last chance. <gasps> what have you done? Tell them, Peter. Confess. Not Peter, you, Henry. Me? He's the thief. He took Mr. Kill. No, he didn't. I know he didn't. Well, who did then? I did. Of course. I should have known. You cleaned my room, didn't you? That's when you took him. And I know why you took him too. Because you want to blackmail me into being good like Peter. That's it. I have had enough. Hey, this is my investigation. Let me go. Let me go. There's Mr Kill. No one stole him. I washed him because he was smelly. Oh. How could you accuse me of stealing your teddy bear, Henry? And how could you accuse your little brother too? And your father. And me. You, young man, are going to stay in your room for the rest of the day. What? And you can pay for poor Peter's cello strings with your pocket money. Now go straight to bed. What about Mr Kill? He's staying right there. It's so easy being me. I'm hard.